Hello everyone, my name is Jordan, also known as X-3, and today I want to show you guys this, uh, this kind of like saber tooth, very destructive sound. I'll play a little bit of the background music and then I'll play some keys. I have a few simple notes here, but they don't sound quite as good as when I play them freely on the keyboard. I figured this sound to actually be used as more as a long sustained growl rather than a one shot for higher notes. Because the sound really uh, resonates down here in the lower scales. So that was like C1 at like F sharp and A sharp. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys how to create this main synth right here. What this patch is, is basically a compressed sound using only the sawtooth. And the sawtooth uses a very awesome technique that I figured out that you can actually use uh, some of its own self-repeating uh, sound by filtering it through filter B. I'll go in a little bit more in depthly. For now, this synth is really, really cool. I'm going to show you guys how to create this with the sub. I'm just going to create it over here on the right side. We got a new combinator. I'm sorry for the uh, different voice change. I'm a little bit stuffy, as you can tell. So I'm not sick, I'm just stuffy. So I'm going to call this combinator Sabertooth. Okay. I'm going to drop in a line six found in the utilities. And I'm going to drop in Maelstrom, a blank instance of Maelstrom. What's pretty cool about Maelstrom that a lot of people don't know is that you can filter like oscillator A right here. As you can tell from the diagram over here, this button leads a dry signal from the from the sound that you created. Like let's say we're gonna use a saw 16th for this example. And I take the motion all the way down and the octave spread down too. What I notice about dragging the index is that you can get a lot of different finite like growl samples. And this is really, really nice to use because then you, once you start like pitching the sound, we're gonna get a much uh, more finer detailed gritty sound. So I'm going to take my range up to 9 instead of 7 so I can stretch a little higher. And uh, I'm going to take the index all the way down for now. For the uh, envelope here, I'm going to take the decay and the sustain all the way to the top. I'm going to take the attack a little bit up so that way the initial stab isn't so abrupt like this. We get a spike. We want that to be eased in so we don't get that spike. We're also going to pull up the release a bit so that way it can ring out a little bit more. That seems to be good, so that 44. I'm going to route uh, the oscillator A to the shaper here, and I want to turn on the shaper. I'm going to take off filter B so that way you can hear what the dry shaper sound does. I'm also going to turn off the filter A. And the amount, we're going to take that up to 74. So it's a little bit harder sounding, but as you can tell with the index set at zero and the motion set at zero, you get a much growly type of sound, much more growl sound. Okay, 
So that's pretty cool. I'm going to turn on the switch down here so that way we get the same signal. Instead of the shaper, it's going to go into filter B. Once we turn that on, I'm going to turn it to a amplitude modulation, the AM mode down here. I'm going to set the resonance to about a solid quarter. And the frequency, I'm going to change that to about 78. Turn on the keyboard follow so that way the keys that you hit will match the pitch of the filter. So it makes it a little bit more accurate. I'll make sure that this routed switch is set. Now we're sending a dry signal of this through the shaper and we're sending another copy of that signal back through a new filter that's going into the shaper and being routed to filter A. So before I play any notes, I'm going to turn up my amount for the envelope. I'm going to turn this to 15. This is pretty important because it shapes the sound a little bit. I want to turn up the decay and the sustain all the way. Now for the attack, I want to take the attack to 27. These things are a little bit finite. It's a pain in the butt. I know, but it's well worth it. Take up your release just a bit. And now let's play a few notes. I want to take this to a positive comb and take the frequency down to about 19 and turn on the keyboard follow. And as you can tell, it's pretty, pretty cool. Now this is very optional. What I use for oscillator B, this is all the sound you need. You don't need any more. This is pretty good. What I figured is that with this other maelstrom over here, it's just a bunch of sine waves. So with oscillator B, we're just going to not route this to anything. It's just going to come straight out as a plain sine wave. And we're going to take this down two octaves. No need for the other maelstrom here. And without that sub bass, it's kind of lacking. So that's pretty cool. You can take up your decay all the way to give it a little bit more punch. And if you don't want that spike in the beginning, like we did with oscillator A, just turn up your attack and your release. Okay, so other than that, I throw on a pulverizer. You can turn up your squash to about 20%. That brings out the more loudness. And I'm going to throw on a M-Class Stereo Imager just to see that we're not using more of the low so it doesn't spread over into your subs and start to muddy everything up. I'm just going to take that down all the way to mono, down here or mono. Next, I'm going to throw on a BV-512. This is actually really, really cool. Turn into equalizer mode and set it to four bands and turn your shift all the way up. So when we start to do some pitches, you'll start to hear it, it crisps nicely. So this is really some powerful stuff. To throw it all together, throw in a maximizer, take off limiter, Turn the soft clip, soft clip, full amount, and your release, set that to auto. And there you guys have it, your very own Sabertooth. I'm going to show you guys a new synth, probably tomorrow or some other stuff. Anyways, I'll play you guys out with this sound that I made. And yeah, have a good one and stay safe. Also, one more thing, if you want more videos like this, be sure to subscribe up here at the top. If you like more of these videos, be sure to hit the like button, it helps me out a lot. And be sure, hope you guys have a, a wonderful day. And uh, one more thing, these videos come out every Saturday and Sunday. I'm gonna throw up a new banner one of these days when I get the chance for a little bit more free time. Thanks for following me, I really appreciate it. 
my SoundCloud and my new store will have all of the tracks over the course of this year, which is about 57 tracks. It's really, really cool and it's a nice deal. So I'll post those links down below. Have a good one. I hope you guys uh, have a good holiday and welcome to the new year. Have a good one and peace.